so for this next example, there are actually uh, two parts here. They're closely related. So you have this, again, 20 feet of clay in different set of consolidation test data. So this is different type of clay. And we're going to put sandy field on top as well. So 12 foot of sandy field on top. And um, so this problem actually has two parts. So example four is part one and example five is part two. Okay. So for part one, just as the previous two examples, we're going to estimate the consolidation settlement after sandy field is put on top, but also the void ratio change. So this void ratio change is at delta E in your um, settlement calculation. Okay. So remember, So that delta E is basically used in consolidation settlement calculation. You can use H not here. So this is the my solution for part A and B basically for this example. And for this example four, first, if you calculate these three stress values, the initial effective stress, the change and the final. So you'll notice the, that and compare with the pre-consolidation pressure so see, this is the relationship. So the initial effective stress, 500 PSF. So that's 10 feet of saturated clay. So I'm using 10 times the buoyant unit weight, that's 500. And then the final effective stress, 500 plus 12 feet of sandy fuel on top. So that's 12 times 115, so 1880 PSF. Okay. So this is a case where Initial is smaller than pre-consolidation pressure, but smaller than the final. So this is, in our word actual note, this is case number two. Okay. So soil is going to, going to follow that recompression curve first, then passing after passing the pre-consolidation pressure, it's going to follow the virgin compression or the initial compression curve. So you have this uh, this relation or this equation for case number two. Okay. And in this equation, so I highlight, I marked here, these two terms within this parenthesis, within this bracket, this is basically your delta E, that's a void ratio change. Okay. So that comes from, so let me use SC here to be consistent. So initial height H naught is 20 feet, and then the initial void ratio 1.5. So there's no doubt about that. And then for the two terms within this bracket, so we have okay. so this delta E again has these two components. So we have first the recompression portion. Okay. So that is this first term. CS, that's the slope of the recompression curve times log 10 of sigma C prime over sigma naught prime. And then plus CC, that's a compression index times log 10 of sigma F prime, sigma C prime. Okay, so that the second term here. And if you substitute all these values, Delta E 0.118, and I got 0.949 feet for the final answer. Okay. 